not, it's not pressing. There we go. Hey guys, what's up? It's Tylo Ren. I'm back to a brand new Minecraft video. So, uh, you guys weren't expecting this at all, and I wasn't either, to be honest. Uh, bought the game a few months ago, decided I should probably make YouTube videos on it because I'm playing it so often. So, here we are. Uh, so I made Minecraft videos in the past, which are no longer on my channel because uh, I deleted them all. But I do remember what each video was and about. And I do remember I made a tutorial on how to build an indie car slash Formula One car. It's more of an indie car than a Formula One car. So, I'm going to show you guys how to build one. Basically, it's a tutorial. So, uh, let's go to video, first person. Awesome. So, in creative mode. Right now we're going to be focusing on building this car right here. We will, I'll show you guys this car. This is the 2019-2020 IndyCar package that they're running today. Uh, this is my first attempt at that one, so it looks a little off. However, I did nail the 2012 to uh, I think it was like 2016 version of the IndyCar. <clears throat> Alright, so what will you need? You will need a 5x9 space, so 9 lengthwise, 5 widthwise. To start off with the car, you're going to need to build this type of a frame. This is the frame that you'll be using to build any car that I'll be showing you. So, for down, uh, it's basically five down and then four in the middle. So I'll go over and demonstrate it. We go one, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Right there. So boom. You already have step one down. Step two is the wing in the front. Right there. So what you'll need is court stairs then a quartz slab. Actually you don't need that. You're going to need a block of quartz, stairs, two slabs on the end, face this way, stair there, another way, stair there. So here's what it should look like uh, right now. That was a bad turnaround. This is what it should look like. If you don't have this then you are already doing something wrong. So, uh, fix it. Second step is the kind of side pods right here. Right here, and right here. So what you'll need to do, take quartz stairs, make them so that they're facing in on each other, then face the front of the car, and place them down so they have kind of a side pocket view. Uh, before we continue any further, I'm going to put a uh, picture on the screen of what the car should actually look like in real life compared to what we're actually making so you guys will uh, you guys understand what we're actually doing alright next step court slab right in front of it so you are finished with the side pods should look like this we do a little demonstration going around getting a little farther away okay third step is the wing and uh, I forgot what these things are called they're like a it's like the I want to be a stock car type of uh, pod on the back of the wheel so what you'll need to do is you'll need to make stairs uh, go upside down facing out and those are your pods so that's step uh, three and a half then two blocks of quartz put one right there put one right there you'll get kind of this pattern you can break them off and then we'll just leave it like that for now next we're gonna go into the cockpit which is fairly easy what you're gonna do is that you're gonna want to dig out in the middle and replace it with any type of black uh, material I'm using black concrete it could be anything, honestly. It doesn't really matter. You're only going to be able to see one 
one or two blocks of it in the end so don't uh, sweat it too much uh, step three and a half or four I forgot what step I'm at put a slab right there you're gonna need some help by putting a slab over here and then extending it over there because doing anything else is impossible step 17 two blocks of quartz right there to make the uh, kind of the top of it actually I lied one block of quartz and then a stair facing out you got step one you got step uh... I don't know what step we're on anymore put a quartz slab right there, put a quartz slab right there now the body and the wing are connected awesome and then the last step put quartz slab right there and you are pretty much done to add, this is basically uh, let me do an overhead view this is basically the car uh, you can keep it like this but it looks very boring so I'm gonna be adding a few details to it get black to stained glass what, what is that? black stained glass pane panes basically connect them so they look like a uh, what are they control arms or axles which I think is a nice detail I used to use uh, in my late in my uh, first video I used iron bars but since they came out with stained glass that's what I'll be using and finally the color is very boring so you can get orange carpet you can use snow you can use uh, pressure plates if you want I don't think pressure plates will look that good I'm going to be using orange, slap them on the outside. Uh, getting wool should be fairly easy, so that shouldn't be much of an issue. You're just going to place them like that. Let's get rid of the. Hold on. Alright. Let's get rid of. Uh, outline we have. This is a long process. My bad. Let's fill it back up. All right. We are done with this part of the Indy car. Uh, I will be showing you guys this indie car but in a fast forwarded or in a, a faster version or faster uh, clip so you guys don't have to go through all the steps you guys got the basic steps already the only thing different about this car is just subtle differences but basically uh, these two red cars are basically the same other than small differences uh, here's the thumbnail if you guys wanted to see it just made a racetrack with two cars going uh, toe to toe for the win even though there's no space for them at all <clears throat> and that's all for me cue the music and enjoy me making this car right here over there hope you guys enjoyed the video uh, more minecraft content will be out soon I don't know how long it's going to be going for and I hope you guys enjoyed peace out